Hey everybody, Aaron here, and welcome back to the Anime Review. Today we look at the Ancient Magus Bride, episode 17. Now, we found out what happened last week at the end now, now it makes sense. Um, this weird being stole that little kid, and everyone forgot about that kid. Um, so this, the, her, his sister apparently ran to the home and said, you know, where was Ethan, because the kid's name was Ethan. And lo and behold, they're like, who's Ethan? What are you talking about? You're only really a child. What? what and she had to go off and, you know, somehow figure out a way uh, of finding her brother. Meanwhile, Chise, who had planned on going to thank Simon, uh, Simon for his gift for Christmas, ends up bringing it to the girl. And along with Elias and Ruth, they went to try to, you know, save this kid. And it was a very, very heartful episode because there are so many concepts that I want to talk about in this week's episode. And basically, the, the first and foremost one I want to talk about is what the being said to the to the um the sister and the rest of them that people are very quick to use words and text and to let them you know unleash everywhere but they don't really think about the consequences behind it and whether you say something out loud or where you write it and put it out there onto something you know via text once it's sent it once it's said it, it's there that's it you know there's no backpedaling like oh i didn't say that or or no no you know i didn't mean that it's been said and you know I think people forget that especially in the technology world I'm not gonna go into a super you know metaphorical concept or I thought I don't want to do that for this week's episode but you know I, I did want to talk of because I, I think people forget that words are more powerful than they really think they are that saying something kind to someone has a strength to it just as equally as saying something negative to someone and it, it annoys the crap out of me because I think so many people are going to miss that message from this week's episode. I, I know for a fact that those with hearts will see that emotion and go, you know, that's so true. And then everyone else will be like, oh, entertaining episode. This was great. And it's like, you know, I, I understand that that's, hey, that's, that's, you know, your prerogative to figure out which, what, what, what do you want to take from a series. You don't have to take everything that's said in a series as a strong, you know, a, a metaphor, a strong thing of life. But I, I love that concept because... It wasn't that this week's episode was overall creepy. It was meant to show that... Look at how much people struggle for the things that they do. And after the consequences of what they say... Can be almost kind of like... I want to say a battle in itself. A game as we had a play where you know this guy took Elias and took um, Ethan away. And had Chise and that girl find uh, try to find them. And luckily Chise was able to use her bear form. Which I don't... You know I understand she could turn into like animals but damn... She's turned into everything now, so she's now a bear. She could turn into a bear, which is kind of cool. But, you know, it, it's th that's the theme of it, is that then you have to struggle to kind of pick up the pieces and fix the mistakes you made. And I think that's what I get. That's at least what I get from this week's episode. The other people might get different things from it, but it, it was really nice to see. It was endearing to see something like that in a show. And that's one thing I love about the show. You know, there's fantasy elements, obviously, too. We saw all these creatures and, and all these other things come up. By the way, the thing that fell on Chise's uh, shoulder originally when they were going to search for Ethan, the thing was adorable. It's like, oh, can I help you guys? And I'm like, oh, my God. That thing was so cute. I want, I want like, a little stuffed plushie of that thing so bad. Like, I feel like I could walk around with that thing on my shoulder all day. I wouldn't mind. That was so adorable. Um, but... You know, it's the theme that this week's episode presented that I think was really standout-ish. And that's one thing I love about the show. It continues to deliver these impactful episodes. Now, I do question, if anything, when are we getting to that whole incident we got with the, um, the during the break of this, uh, the series where we had the dragon and we had Chise wearing full battle mage armor and stuff like that. When is that coming up? We are running down to the last, like, what, several episodes? I think it's, I think the show's going to be 24 episodes or 26 episodes. I can't remember off the top of my head, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but it's, nonetheless, we're on episode 17 now, so even if we only have, what, maybe like a handful, maybe seven or eight more episodes left, are they really going to be like, are they going to do something so dramatic in like that short of a time? I'm very curious about that. But what do you guys think about this week's episode? What do you think about the emotions behind it and stuff like that? If you, if you were one of those people that actually saw it, I would love to hear from you guys always in the comments below. I will talk to you guys later. I have Darling the Frank and Citrus planned for later today. I will not be reviewing them till probably like 4 or 5 o'clock. Only because I don't want to you know flood you guys with a thousand reviews right away. So I'll talk to you guys then. God bless you all. Have a great blessed day everyone. Bye bye everyone.